Welcome to highlights of the 113th edition of Parry Tour here on GCN Racing. The route of 217 kilometres has undergone something of a metamorphosis in recent years, with the back end now littered with short, sharp climbs and gravel sectors. What used to be something of a sprinter's classic is now one for the punchers. It was with 70 kilometres to go where last year's winner Soren Craig Anderson of Team Sunweb got clear with Roanpot's boy Van Poppel. Craig Anderson, though, would drive away from the Dutchman with 53 and a half kilometres to go on the first gravel climb. Van Poppel's day was done. Could Craig Anderson solo to victory? His lead at this point was about a minute. As the next gravel sector loomed, it was another former winner, Lotto Sudau's Yali Valais, who was going off in search of the two leaders. Unfortunately, luck was not on the side of the Sunweb man who punctured, and because his gap was under a minute, he was forced to take a wheel from the Mavic neutral service car. Valais gave a sideways glance to the man wearing number one as he pressed on alone. There were other punctures behind this time for former Paris Roubaix winner Nicky Terpstra. He, though, would recover well and he powered back to the chasing group with Edward Plancart in tow. Craig Anderson was caught by the group, but in what would be a bitter pill to swallow with his bad luck, he would not finish the race. Valais was in full flow, crushing the gravel sectors, hunting for his first victory of 2019. Terpstra was clearly the total direct energy man of the day, with Angelo Chulek dropping back to help him with the fans enjoying the mild weather. Valais was extending his lead and it would hit one minute and 30 seconds. The group behind were not looking organised. It contained the likes of Oliver Narsen and Arno Damar along with Terpstra and Lars back. Gravel roads are featuring more and more in races. The leader was powering through the dust clouds while the pressure was starting to increase in the chasing group with Group Palmer FDJ working hard for Damar. This would reduce the number of contenders considerably, but it had they left it too late to catch the Lotto Sudal man. Terpstra suffered yet more bad luck with another puncture, but he would again find his way back. Through 15 kilometers ago, Valais was holding 1 minute and 30 seconds. While he was fully committed, the chasing group was stalling behind. Terpstra took off. He would be chased by Narsen. For Valais, though still going full stick at the front, his gap was looking like it would take him all the way to the finish. Inside two kilometres to go, it was still holding fast at 48 seconds. Victory was assured, but which order would they finish on the podium behind? An understandably delighted Valais took plenty of time to sit up and enjoy his second career victory at Paris Tours and finish off 2019 a happy man. Behind Nicky Terpstra from Total Direct Energy took second with Narsen having to settle for third. A great big huge emotional day for Yeli Valais. He doesn't win often but when he does he does it in style. Your top three on the day Valais from Terpstra and Oliver Narsen. There's your podium. Lotto Sudau's Yeli Valais takes it from Nicky Terpstra and Oliver Narsen. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell icon. You'll be notified every time we go live or upload a new video.